What's up, YouTube? How's it going, friends? Want to hang out? You want to sit back and relax? Talk some comics? Oh, it's your boy JoJo. Feeling a little drained today. Let's get off work. Long day. Long day. But anyway, it's all good. Gotta work. Gotta put that food on the table. Gotta buy those comics. <laughs> so how, how was y'all's day? Good? Comment below. Awesome. Anyway, so let's continue on this quest. This odyssey of mine. Come along with me, won't you? Pull up a chair. You see this comic right here? <clears throat> it's not exact. It's not from my childhood. It's not the one from my childhood. I don't even know what happened to that one, to tell you the truth. But this comic has come into my life three or four times, maybe five. I love this comic book. I've read it, reread it, dozens of times. The Transformers. Um, the Transformers were awesome, fantastic. Love them. You know, a lot. Of, not a lot of people know. Of course, they're from Japan. Blah blah blah. But here in the states, I remember when I was a kid, coming home from school, and. Uh, turning on the TV and boom there was a commercial of the Transformers but it wasn't for the toys or anything like or the, or the or the TV series or anything it was for the comic and I thought that was so cool and it would come on every so often I go wow that is fantastic so um, I started collecting them I didn't have number one I didn't even know where to, where to look for them. This was, man, this was like, I have a lot of start points, a lot of beginning points. They all, all the lines are blurred of when I started collecting. Uh, there was a Spider-Man issue. <clears throat> Transformers issues. Star Wars issues. Uh, but I remember Transformers started out as a four-issue limited series. Uh, one, two, three, four. And uh, Marvel saw that it was like super popular and it just blew past four. <laughs> and they went up to, gosh, I don't know, it was like 70 something. I'm not sure. Uh, but after the fourth issue, and, and you know, I, I, I don't remember. I just remember this one cover of Shockwave. And he's like looking at you. And it says the Transformers are all dead? Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, when I saw that comic, it was at a, at a like at a, 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 a department store. They had them in uh, these plastics. They were like two to three to four issues in a, in, in a bag. So yeah, I had to, I snatched them up, man. So I had like four through eight, and then uh, and then I started going to the comics store. Uh, there was only at the time there were only when I find, found out about them there were only two, and they were like way across town. And that's when I started getting them every month. I'd go, my parents would take me, or I would take the bus. Woo, eighties taking the bus, taking the bus from one side of town to another for comics. But anyway, this one in particular, I love this one because Spider-Man's in it. And Spider-Man and uh, Megatron. <laughs> uh, you know, you're like, what? what what's Spider-Man doing in this universe? But again, you know, Marvel. Marvel. Marvel can do whatever it wants. And, uh, well, Spidey was in it. And uh, it's just a great read. 
It's probably tying up Megatron like nobody's business. And all the other Decepticons in the back are like, what the? Oh. <laughs> uh, great issue. I love it. Uh, I, I, I'm going to go into more detail when I, get, when I find the others. But that's a whole other story in itself. But anyway, I got this off of eBay. And uh, the guy was saying, oh, it's a 9.2 or 9.4. I was like, all right, well, they're cool. It's like 10 bucks, 12 bucks with the shipping. And uh, it came, but it came in an envelope. So it went from a 9.2 to like a 6, <laughs> I guess. It's all wrinkled and stuff. Dude. Come on. Anyway. Look, I'm a nice guy. Anyway. <laughs> Fantastic. I love this issue. Um, maybe uh, CGC it. Maybe. Okay. Spider-Woman. Number six. All these books, uh, again, there's a mixture, but I was looking through them, and I uh, found a little story. Well, I had known about it for about a year or so. And I'm not going to say where it is or whatever, because it's my little treasure chest. Uh, everybody's going to keep going, because it's going to go there. <laughs> I'm selfish when it comes to comics. Yeah, I am. Anyway. <laughs> Um, it's a little tiny, little tiny store, and uh, I got to know the owner and stuff, and uh, try to go there every other week or so. Uh, but the guy, you know, um, he doesn't care about selling variants at like outrageous prices. He just sells them just for the cover price. So I got this one, Spider Woman. Uh, and I guess, of course, uh, Mr. J. Scott Campbell. I think these are like four interconnecting covers. I only, I think I only got like two of them. There's silk, uh, spider, uh, spider woman alpha, but that's silk, right? Uh, G. Scott Campbell. Okay. Same store. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amazing Spider-Man. Yes. Like I said, I'm a junkie of Amazing Spider-Man. Now, I'm buying all these books <clears throat> because when I... S well, again, there are many beginnings. But I have a lot of Amazing. I just don't know what I have anymore. So that's why I'm doing this, these videos. I haven't even started on the, on, the, on the short boxes. This is all the stuff that I bought recently. But anyway, the little store... It's a, it's a very tiny store, and it's, but it's divided into two pieces, two, two places, two rooms. In the first part of the room, he's got, like, baseball cards and stuff, and, and the new issues, right? And uh, so I'm looking at stuff, and I go, wow, I'm looking at all the different variants and stuff. I'm picking stuff up. I go, wow, this is cool. And then he says, you know, we have another room in the back. I said, really? He goes, yeah. But everything in the back is half off. Whoa. Sold, my friends. Sold. So I saw this one. I went to the back. It's got a bunch of short boxes. And, you know, every time I go, I go through, I go through them again and again and again. But uh, I saw this one. $16. And she's mighty fine. And uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 169. He had it for 16. He gave it to me for 8. Couldn't let it go. And I don't think I had this one. There's Jameson. Peter. Jameson is there. Waiting to get that scoop. You know? Jameson. Ass. <laughs> A-hole. Peter Parker, I know you're Spider-Man. And I have the photos to prove it. How do these pictures reveal Spidey's secret identity? 
You'll never know unless you read Confrontation. <laughs> I love this cover, man. Ah, awesome. And he's got like two or three of these, but the other ones are like really uh, in bad shape. I, I think I'm going to get them anyway. But this is, I love this cover. I love it. Uh, he also had, well, this one, he had this one in the front. Annual Batman, New 52. This is like a standalone issue. I mean, like most annuals are, right? Uh, but this is uh, <laughs> the Joker. The Joker is giving a hard time to this, uh, this reporter. <laughs> and he's scaring him and he's uh, doing all sorts of things to him. It kind of reminds me of the episode of the Batman the Animated Series where the Joker told one guy, he goes, oh, hey, let me see your driver's license. I'm going to come back. You owe me a favor. <laughs> the guy's all scared and everything. Oh, he's going to come to me. What is he going to do to me? Great read, my friends. Batman Annual number three. Anyway, the comic store guy had it. Let's focus. Yeah, yeah. Highly recommend it. Number three, Batman Annual. Half price books. Ghostbusters. Get real. Number one, Dr. Beckman. Meet Dr. Beckman. Dr. Beckman. Meet Dr. Beckman. Doctor. 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 Doctor, if you guys, if you guys don't get that joke, then well, you're not a fan of this kind of comedy. Doctor, anyway, uh, dollar? Oh no, no, sorry, two dollars. IDW Ghostbusters get real. It's from the cartoon and then from the comic. You know, I was having a discussion with my brothers the other day about Ghostbusters. I haven't seen the new one, the one with the the all-female cast. I have it. I bought it, but I haven't seen it. There's a lot of mixed reviews, and they're dogging it, and this and that. I mean, come on, man. Every generation has to have a... Their <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, every generation has to have their story. Oh. <clears throat> Ghostbusters 1, when I remember when it came out in the 80s, right? I, remember I saw the commercial, my dad was saying, what the hell is that? And my father was a huge Bill Murray fan. Stripes. Fantastic movie. Uh, what else? Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day is such a classic. Y'all need to watch this, man. But Ghostbusters? Ghostbusters was just a whole other type of animal. But it's funny because you have, they're, they're taking the supernatural and they're putting it into the real reality with this group of guys, <clears throat> you know, uh, and that mixture between, and that awesome, awesome ke uh, chemistry between Bill Murray and Harold Ramis and Dan Aykroyd and Ernie Hudson. I mean, Common Ray. <laughs> Uh, all those things, you know, they probably did a lot of improvisation. They added stuff to the story. Uh, the little things here and there. You know, the genius of these comedians. Oh, man. You know, back in the day, Bill Murray and all these guys, they weren't as famous as they are today. You know, a lot of people didn't like it. Like, liked them. Until, like, recently. Maybe, like, ten years ago. Uh, I've always been a fan. <sighs> Stripes. Ken Shat. Oh, man. awesome. Anyway, love Ghostbusters 1. I love Ghostbusters 2. And I hope I like Ghostbusters 3. Right? Is it Ghostbusters 3? Anyway. High price books again. Mm. The Batman and Teen Titans Go. It was a free comic book day. Not so free, huh? Half price books? Not so free. Uh, and then I found this one too. Man, I remember this one back in the day. 90s. Predator vs. Magnus. Robot Fighter. Number one. 
I think I, I think this was like, oh yeah, there were like two issues. I think I have these. I, remember. I mean, I have it now, but this was from a haul or a lot that I bought uh, from this. I guess this old guy <laughs> that he has a antique store and he has all his stuff on eBay. I know she's beat up, but I got a good deal on it. Two, three bucks. Amazing Spider-Man Annual Number Ten, Double Size Dynamite. A Spidey battles the most sensational new villain of all for the life of J. Jonah Jameson. They call him the Human Fly. Man, just you know, Jameson, you and Aunt May deserve each other. Always getting into trouble. Always dying. Spidey has to save your ass. Me, Spider Man, number 10. Oh, look at this one. Oh, 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 I love this. Amazing. 191. Battles the menace of the last Spider Slayer. Alistair Smythe and his son. The Robot Slayers. Spider Slayers. Another one. This one is nice. Let me see Spider Man number 152. Webhead, you've tangled with me once too often. This time, you're gonna be shattered by the shocker. He's right. Once I hit those world. Wait, hold on. He's right. Once I hit those whirling dynamo blades, it'll be goodbye, Spidey. Oh, here's another one. I, I have two of these. I just, just realize that. Wait, they're stuck together. Oops! Hold on. Okay. Oh, yes. Stegron. Stegron. The living dinosaur. Amazing number 165. The dinosaur man has restored these skeletons to life. And your friendly neighborhood webslinger is going to be their first meal. There's mind-bending mayhem in store when Stegron stalks the city. Oh, alliteration, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Spider-Man, 165. Oh, here we go. Spider-Man and Thor, Marvel team up. They're from the same guy. The $2 guy, the flea market guy, had, he had one that got it, and it was like really in really bad condition. This one's okay. This one's a little bit better. Spider-Man and Thor. The mighty Thor. Thunder God or human spider. Nothing can stand against Krillick. First Earth shall fall. And then Asgard itself. Two worlds to conquer. Okay, yeah, I got this one a lot too. That's a great cover. Marvel 2 and 1, The Thing and Spider-Woman. The bigger they are. Don't miss this issue. Sinister surprise. No, wait, what did it say? Don't miss this issue's sinister surprise super villain. Plus, the final fate of Giant Man. What happened? It was like he ate something. <laughs> oh, giant man. Take some Pepto, man. You'll be better. Take two of these and call me in the morning. Marvel 2 and 1, The Thing and Spider-Man, number 90. Monsters, Magicians, and Mayhem. Spidey, Thing, whatever the hell that is. Oh, this one, I got this one at the, that little tiny, uh, nah, <laughs> little tiny comic store. Man, I'm tired, brothers. I'm tired, brothers and sisters. I am tired. But that's okay. We must move forward and onward. Marvel 2 and 1, The Thing and the Human Torch. What are they doing? Are they going to sacrifice The Thing and, and the Human Torch? 
the last word. <laughs> We're Spidey. Oh, yes. Oh, I know a girl named Mary Jane. And I love her. You know, <clears throat> earlier this year, maybe late last year, when I found out that Mary Jane was going to start working for Tony Stark. I said, damn, man. What? Come on. What does one have to do with the other? Why? Leave her alone. Uh, I guess. Well, guess what? I'll be one of the, one of the first ones in line for that new Renew Your Vows uh, series where they're together, you know, where Mary Jane and Spidey are together and they have the little girl, Annie, I guess. That's her name. I'm not sure. But anyway, Alex Ross, Amazing Spider-Man number 15. I think this is volume 4. This is the newest one. I haven't read any of these. I, uh, I have a few of them. But... She is so awesome. Look at that. In the iron Spider-Man suit. And again, you know, Alex Ross. Beautiful. Oh, and here's another one. I love this cover. Where did I get this one? Where did I get this? This one I got, uh, I think they're at the same store. A little, no, 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 no. I didn't. I got this at another a big franchise store. I'm not going to mention any names. You may be able to see it, but I don't like the franchise. I don't. I like the little guy, mom and pop. But uh, if I get stuck, I have to go to those. But anyway, look at that. I love this cover, man. Invincible Iron Man, number 10. Look at Mary Jane, drinking coffee. Mm. Cute and sexy at the same time, winking at you. Mary Jane, where are you? <laughs> so beautiful. I love it. Beautiful, beautiful. I wish I had a poster of this one. Hang it up. Uh, Half Price Books again. Detective Comics. Number 587. Great cover. Great cover. I love that. Oh, okay. Here's another one. I think this is hilarious. <laughs> Detective Comics! Number 579. I mean, can you imagine? <laughs> you're Batman. And you're crashing into this building. And you're seeing a guy doing surgery on another. <laughs> like, what the hell? What the hell? Are you going to stop him right now? Bats? Huh? Maybe he needs... Maybe he's got something. I don't know. All right. <laughs> Damn you, camera! I'm sorry. I love you. <laughs> All right. I don't know where I left off. Well, Batman crashing in onto the surgery. Can you imagine... Good Lord. Well. Thanks for hanging out with me. At least for a little bit. I hope you guys have a great one. Stay hungry. Keep hunting. Be a hero to everybody. Peace.